Joe is very kind, very kind indeed. He, he likes, when he's out, he's got a bit of money, he will buy the grandchildren, we will buy him presents, sweets or little presents. And he's always buying things or flowers and he, he gets on really well with children. He loves children, he loves to play with them because obviously sometimes that is like his own age, in his own age. Nan is an excellent mother and an excellent wife. There's no doubt about it. I wouldn't have nobody else but Margaret. Margaret was married before to Ronnie Sheard and they found out when he was about three or four years of age that he wasn't learning properly, etc. And he had a penicillin injection what put him into a massive fit and then since then, obviously, he's had fits. I just think myself, <clears throat> the government and places like that don't really look into see what needs are needed for people like Joey and other children that are out there. He's autism and he's a bad epileptic. Just a normal, routine young girl. Waitress, cashier, cleaner. Lived at home in my grandfather's house with my mum and my dad, my older brother, my older sister and my younger sister. Just a normal life going to school. We weren't rich or anything like that. We did normal things, like going out to play, went to school, left school, got a job, got a few jobs. <laughs> In 1964, I was walking up the road and he started whistling. And he was saying, what are you doing tonight? And I just walked past. <laughs> Janet Moss and sister. He was 13 when I was born. Considering what Grandad took on, it must again, I don't think he probably realised just to the extent and the severity of Joey's condition. So I think he's managed well throughout the years. He's probably got frustrated as well. Not really a lot physically, more so mentally than physically. His mind is roughly a third of his age, what he is now. Joey's condition though, he's obviously got the mind of a child about eight and nine. He can't really dress himself properly and also he can't speak properly. As reading and writing is concerned, it doesn't exist. He can write Joey on the Christmas card or a birthday card and that's about it. Because there's always something to do, no matter what. You've got, always got to be there 24 hours. If he has seizures, there's got to be somebody there with him all the while. You can't really let him go out to go shopping or go down the road on his own because he has really got no road sense. And if he walks over, he could get knocked down. And that. So you've always got to be aware. David, Joey's favourite thing is Elvis Presley. He likes old movies. He sits there and watches. He don't really understand them, but he, he, he gets the gist of them sometimes. 2013, um, my heart stopped of a night. When your mind's always on the run, sort of thinking, you know, what's going to happen and one thing or another. And then you worry. But she's had a pacemaker fitted and lately she hasn't been too bad, touch wood, etc. She don't she takes things easy and don't do too much, she's all right. But she carries on no matter what and she still does the housework and the cooking. She needs a break from him sometime because otherwise she's got him seven days a week and these places at the moment are being closed down by this, this stupid government. They think they can do without these places and put them in special places. It doesn't work like that. But at one time he used to have a carer come to the house, a young lad who was a bit of a punk rocker, who used to take Joey out the pictures, etc., and, and take him shopping and things like that, look after him. But that that all stopped. It was a volunteer worker, so it just fizzled out. And apart from that, he doesn't have no one to come to the house. He did have a girlfriend once at the uh, centre, uh, but he didn't take much notice. He just used to bring it. She was coming to the house, quite a nice looking girl, actually. But she was okay, she was quite a nice looking girl. And he had her for ooh, two or three years, I think. She's come in the house and sit with him sometimes, etc. But apart from that, that was about it. That's the only one he's ever had. I don't think people 
are aware of all these conditions and I don't think anybody can ever empathise until they're put in that situation. Um, I think people do judge as well. They see it from the outside and often label that person who does have uh, learning disorders as being naughty or being defiant. Some people, like my friend once at Murray Scucci, he, he was a bit frightened of Joey because the symbol he, he was different. Because Joey being different, some people cannot cope with that. But you see, he didn't know about autism till I'd say the past 15 years. Before that, it was never known. It was just that you were mental impaired. Nanny didn't get her pension until she was 70 odd years of age. And then as soon as she got her pension, they took the care loans off her. But you still got to look after your child, no matter what. Because you still have to pay if he goes to respite or if he needs anything, or you have to pay some because that money is to help you to pay people to look after him while you do things. Well, you don't get it anymore, but you still have to pay. So hyperactive, estranged. Got to be attention, top of attention, not once, all the while. When, I met, when we first went with her, met her, she was lovely. And Nan's always been a nice looking lady as well. And she's a very, very kind lady. Too kind someone, hard as big as gold. She'll, she'll give a last penny to the children. If I said they give us a ten out of your purse, that's all she got left, she would give it me. Any money in her purse, she would give you the whole lot. She wouldn't worry about what got no money left, she would give it you. I think it's put a lot of strain on her. She's she has she hasn't really shown it at times, just uh what exactly what it's done because she's just got on with it. Um Nan is very much like that, just has dealt with it in her own way and just exactly done that, just got on with it. Remember that it's a child with difficulties and not a child who's being difficult.